Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, as you said by the title, we'll be finally doing my full base of essence. <laughs> I have been talking about this only for a few weeks, but you guys seem to be so excited. I'm so excited. Um, so I was like, all right, let's put the, I almost said put the brakes on. No, let's um, hit the gas <laughs> and um, get it going. I'm so excited. I have so many goodies here. Um, and yes, if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and uh, without further ado, let's just get started. Definitely comment any other full face ideas you have. I did just post a community tab um, like a week ago or so. Was it a week ago? I did just post a community tab a while ago, um, but I was just kind of trying to get your opinions on full face ideas. So let me know if you guys have any, um, or like brand reviews brands that are smaller, <laughs> that I can afford people, definitely let me know. Um, so yes, um, let's just jump right in. Essence is a very affordable brand. If you guys don't know anything about it, it's very afford affordable. You can get products for $2, um, uh, $2, $5, $3, the whole nine. You can get some products for 10, um, but usually I, I think everything that I've seen is under $10 on their brand and it's literally awesome. There's not very many, many brands like that. Elf and Wet n Wild both used to be like that, but they have um, really picked up their prices as well. Of course, they've picked up their quality, but they've also picked up their prices. So Essence is one of the few brands that you can get um, a, f um, a, a lot of their products for under $10, you know what I'm saying? So it's really interesting. Um, first things first I wanted to mention was that all the products I am going to mention, you can get off of Ulta's website. So I don't like to kind of, I don't like to base it off um, uh, Essence's website because I tried to order off their website once, <laughs> once, and I canceled the order because it was, I had waited two weeks for a confirmation email and I didn't get it. And I was like, oh no, absolutely not. We're not going to do this. We're not going to wait this long. It just was taking forever. And their website isn't that... I don't know how to say this kindly. It just looks a little bit shadier, if you will. You're kind of like, hmm. It doesn't. It's not fun to navigate or anything like that. So you're just kind of like, I don't know. So for me personally, if I'm going to buy anything from Essence, it's going to be off of Ulta's website. So all the products here you can get off of Ulta. If you want to recreate the look, if you want to just try some stuff, I suggest getting your products from uh, Ulta. Uh, not all their products are on Ulta's website, but all their good products are. Just so we, just so we understand, <laughs> a lot of their good products are on this. I mean, on Ulta's website. Um. All right. So. I keep like restarting, but it's like because I have like close out a thought and then I do something else and I'm like, oh yeah, okay, let's start again. First, let's go on with some primer. <laughs> I forgot to mention. Um, I do one product I don't have for this full face and that is concealer. On Ulta's website, I think they only have the matte concealer, if I'm correct. And then, um, then they also had like a color corrector, which I was going to get, but I just... I don't use color correctors, it would have been a waste of money, and I don't use matte concealers, so I wasn't going to pretend like, you know, I was going to try to test out this product, darn well knowing I don't like matte concealers. That was just dumb, a waste of money, and it's not beneficial to you guys because I know I'm not going to like it, you know? So it was stupid. I didn't want to try it, and hopefully Essence can come out with some concealer soon because their new foundation was a banger. <laughs> um... But we are going to go in with the Prime Plus Studio Hydrating Skin Refreshing Primer. This is only $4.99. They just came out with a few new primers in this kind of like packaging. Some are $5.99, $6.99. We have one. Um, this one is $4.99. So it's a really, really great price. Five bucks for a, uh, it's a 1.01 1, 1 .01 fluid ounce um, primer here. And this primer, man. I didn't know I could be so in love with a primer like this. So it's like that lotiony texture, but that's also a little bit more, I don't want to say liquidy because liquidy is a weird word, but a little bit like when you get it going, it like kind of melts into the face, if you will, but it also smooths the skin and I love it because it smooths the skin without being drying or taking out any moisture or, um, glow it kind of just does all of that at the same time and i'm confused because i didn't know that a primer could be this good and only five dollars 
like my skin looks so good so healthy i could just walk out like this and be totally fine because my skin looks bomb and no one would be like oh you paid five dollars for that no everyone would be like girl how much did you spend on your skincare routine i'd be like five bucks girl five bucks all right now the foundation is definitely not gonna match me <laughs> just so we're clear this is the essence pretty natural hydrating foundation um if you guys haven't seen it all over the internet <laughs> it is amazing a great foundation it is more natural kind of on trend with everything coming out right now it has hyaluronic acid like everything coming out right now um it has a long wear for formula natural coverage finish and weightless feel and i agree they're amazing it's only 6.99 and nothing could be like the claims are so true it's amazing they're not definitely a natural finish and it feels so weightless on the face and it has that nice natural coverage where you don't feel like you're wearing the l i mean the tart maracuja tinted hydrator that has no coverage but you don't feel like you're wearing like a full coverage foundation you know it's very very nice a very nice middle because it just makes your skin look so beautiful and flawless um but feels comfortable Oh no, the shade, honey. All right, so here's the foundation here. You can see it does have that natural finish. It's a little bit lifelike, but nothing too glowy or too luminous. And you can still see a little something, something under my skin, but it's nothing, like obviously you can't see all of my skin. It does cover up enough. It just looks really, really pretty and I love it. <laughs> um, it's Again, it's only $6.99. Now, as many amazing products as Essence does have, they do have their downfalls. Um, obviously concealers one big one they have the essence camouflage matte concealer which not everyone likes a matte concealer number one and it only has six shades this is a big downfall of essence is their shade ranges they have gotten so much better they really have throughout the years um but <laughs> six shades ain't doing it for anybody and then they have their high beauty under eye brightening concealer and on also so they only have one shade no honey no unacceptable so um that was a big no-go for me but then also i think another um but also another downfall i think they do have is maybe i mean you know maybe some people really really like them for me and my skin type i don't like it um but they have the uh essence the matte uh, fixing compact powder they have a waterproof version and a regular version they just don't work for me they're just too they're not what i like in a powder basically um if you're someone who likes something more mattifying you might like it i know and andrea montalano really likes it because she's really oily oily skin me not for your girl so this time around i picked up the banana essence banana bright um brighten up banana powder and um this is just not it doesn't do very much I guess for the under eye and it's a little bit like so why are you brightening if you're not gonna brighten um too much you can see it does a little bit but honestly it's just like it's like basically just like a powder that's a little too light for me <laughs> um and so it's it's a nice powder i do enjoy it i do like it and i will keep it it's just not number essence is one of essence's number one products i think they again um they need to work on their concealers and they need to work on a little bit more of their powders they do have the My Skin Protector Loose Fixing Powder, but again, they only have six shades. And the thing with, um, ooh, okay. The thing with finding your shade for a powder, I just, I hate it. I don't like it. I don't like finding, I like a translucent shade and that's that. I don't like to have to find my shade in a powder. And they only have six. And so um, for me, it's always like, is the light one gonna be too light and then the medium's gonna be too dark? You know, I just can't find my shade in those. And so I was just like, Again, we're not going to do it, but you can see the banana powder is really nice and it set my whole face really, really nicely. I don't feel dry or anything like that. It's just supposed to be a little bit more brightening and it kind of just ended up being like a setting powder, a translucent powder, really, really. But it's only $5, so if you're looking for something exactly like this, where it's a little bit brightening, but nothing too crazy, you just want a little something, something, she's your girl, honey. All right, so now let's talk about a holy grail that essence will go down in history for being my one of my favorite products of life changing my world rocking my world for life <laughs> this is the essence sun club matte bronzing powder palette i've talked about it so much on my channel it's not even funny i you know i if you don't know 
now you know she's my baby and i wish that there was like pan to show you but there's so much product in here i will probably never hit pan honestly um but what i like to do is right now since i'm so pasty i'm just gonna dip into these three here but this is what i usually do is just mix the top two um dip into the lightest whatever i just go ham and i bronze up my face it's only ten dollars again this is the most expensive product essence probably has i'm pretty sure positive and um you get four different bronzer shades in here so it's an amazing price the formula is so beautiful it is so blendable so smooth and is so nice for a powder it is unacceptably good it is unacceptably good because people are selling bronzers for 55 dollars that are not even this good let's get that straight <laughs> Uh, it's so delicious. I'm going crazy with my bronzer right now, but it is just so fun to apply and um, That sounds so weird, but it's just so fun to apply because it just works. You just bronze your skin and You're just like ah. It's just so much fun It makes you want to put on makeup and you know Take your makeup off again and put it back on because it's so nice. You know what I'm saying? So um, I love it again. I went a lot, a lot of bit crazy, but I love it only 10 bucks They do have a couple of other bronzers, which I've tried the Essence Sun Club matte bronzing powder which is just the single which are really nice as well the shades again they only had two shades though and the dark one was a little too dark and the light one was too light so um i just don't have that one anymore but the palette oh my gosh oh my gosh delightful amazing spectacular 10 out of 10 remember. now let's talk about essence blush because everyone in the mom loves essence blushes <laughs> you cannot lie and say that you don't because everyone does and everyone at some point in their life has talked about an essence blush on YouTube. Let's get that straight. So on their website, they have on Ulta's website, they have the essence B blushes. They have four different shades. They are only $2.99, y'all. $2.99, $3 for um, you get five grams, which is not too bad, especially because if you're a blushaholic like me, again, you'll never go through this ever for three dollars. And if you do, you can buy it again. <laughs> buy a different shade. They also have the Essence Mosaic blushes, which I really, really like as well. They do only have two shades of those though, um, and those are $3.99, but I, I do like these better, but those are good as well. If you wanted to try, if you tried this, you're like, okay, I wanna try something new. And then they also have the Essence, the Blush Lighter Gradient Blush Powder. Now I got this so that I can use the highlighter side, but um, they also have a blush mix in here. So I'm just gonna take, I think a little bit of that and kind of see what happens. Cause I haven't actually used that one yet. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, I like the the singles better so far, but the blush lighter the combo here is $249 and there are two shades on their website So on Ulta's website, so pretty cool pretty amazing prices again but These blushes so good last all day don't budge and their pigmentation Unbelievably amazing like my skin just looks I look I look worth a lot more than my face costs <laughs> Let's get that straight worth did i say what did i say i don't know what i said i look worth more than a lot my face costs is that that's what i meant to say i don't know all right so we're just gonna go in with the um blush lighter the gradient powder blush you get eight grams again for two dollars and 49 cents amazing and this highlighter honey are you ready to be rocked are you is your okay sorry i have the shade twilight nude twilight is your world ready to be rocked i don't think so I don't think so, sweetie. I'm trying to go in with the light hand because I really don't want it to go that crazy. Look how stunning she is. She's an angel. She's a beaut and I really love it. I do really like the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter, the regular one, like the one everyone and their mom talks about. Um, but the thing with that one is, again, it's the same thing, um, where they only have two shades in that, and the light shade is too light for me sometimes, and the dark shade is always too dark for me. Um, it might work for me at, like, one point in the summer, but that's literally it, and so I can't use it. And then the Essence Pure Nude, Pure Nude Highlighter Palette that's kind of like this one, which is $10, um, there's a purple shade, a yellow shade, and a gold shade, and I'm like... Okay, none of those are gonna work for me either. So I'm waiting for Essence to come out with more of those shades as well. But for now, this one is so good. And if you're someone who wants like a little blush highlighter combo here, um, you would really, really like this. I'm just gonna swatch 
the highlighter here and then this is the blush they're so delicious it's like a nice terracotta kind of shade it's just so delicious and you can't go wrong let me just say that you cannot go wrong mm -hmm. all right i need some setting spray so we're gonna go in with this is the uh i keep saying essence um but you guys know it's essence all right <laughs> this is the hello good stuff three in one face mist it's for hydrating it hydrates fixes and refreshes with watermelon extract dude what did i type in sweetie also really likes to play essence in that if you type in like essence it'll come up like 50 other million products because i mean the name essence obviously use it for like other things like water essence or blah blah, blah this essence you know um, the, the, you know, it makes sense, but it's annoying because obviously I'm looking for the brand Essence if I just type in the word Essence, hello, but it's annoying. Anyway, this is $5.99, which was surprising to me just because you only get 50 milliliters. So usually, typically you get, um, a hundred milliliters in like setting sprays and stuff like that. And so $5.99, I was like, okay, Essence, but it is so fun. It's so fun. What was I going to say? It is so freaking good. That's what I was going to say. It smells literally like watermelon and I love it and it really does refresh the face hydrate the face it feels so freaking good and it smells so good if you like watermelon it's a wrap it smells like I'm eating the candy and I just it makes me so happy literally so happy number one number two um I'm kind of glad that it's only 50 milliliters because I'm the type of person who gets tired of things really easy so right now it smells so good but like if I kept smelling that for like weeks and weeks and weeks i would be like okay i'm over it but it smells so good right now see my face just got lifted up a little bit and it's nothing super glowy or over the top it's just nice and hydrating and then my face has that extra up, up. all right next next let's do some oh uh, 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 uh. let's see let's do some eyebrows so we're gonna go on with this is the essence eyebrow designer in um zero to brown i love a lot of essence brow products i just wanted to try a different one instead of getting the same one that i've gotten before because i have tried that one so let me just look it up quick this is just a pencil here i don't know um <laughs> i don't know what i was trying to say what the heck is wrong with me um i really was surprised by this pencil i really like it the brush is nice it's not my favorite obviously i prefer a spoolie but it's nice um when it's on the pencil you just kind of uh brush your hairs up and it is really really nice it's only a couple bucks it's 1.99 literally two dollars amazing and you get a whole like pencil where you can use the whole thing up whereas some other pencils if they're retractable or like if they're um the the uh the plastic it's kind of you don't get really all the full product so this is awesome there's six shades in here which is not too bad for brow products just because their brows it's a little different um i've tried the essence make me brow eyebrow gel mascara which is the tinted one again only 2.99 i do like that one i'm just not a tinted brow gel kind of gal but if you like it i would try it and then I've also tried the Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara, which I really like more than the tinted one, because obviously it's not tinted, it's clear, but also because it really does hold onto your lashes and make them like stay in place a lot longer. And um, it doesn't feel like nasty or, or goopy or like crunchy or anything like that. I really, really do like it. And then my favorite Essence Brow Pencil is the Essence, is Essence the Eyebrow Pen which it has like three little prongs kind of things and it's like a marker and you just fill in your eyebrows and it's so amazing literally i need to buy another one because i really did like that i have so many brow pencils though um but i did like it and i've tried it so i was like okay let's try something else and essence had the audacity audacity to put out it's called essence baby got brow eyebrow pencil after i already got this one and i was planning my full face was almost it was done with my full face so i'm like essence how dare you but whatever maybe one day i'll try it maybe i'll do a video like trying new essence makeup because they're coming out with a couple new things that's the thing with this brand too elf i mean ColourPop is really the one brand that kind of releases every single day um no brands really do that but even essence i mean elf kind of releases they release like one product but they do it pretty often um, you know, like you just, we just had the, um, now we have this new collection, which just came out. We had, we have the putty bronzer. We have the acne fighting bronzer. We have the watermelon revamp. We had, um, 
Chipotle was recently, the new, the, all those things were recently. And so Essence just doesn't ne put out nearly as much as any of the other brands. And it's kind of interesting. I'm kind of happy that they don't just because you don't feel overwhelmed. You get to really try their products and love their products. And they have some amazing staples that so many people love. And so it's like, why fix what ain't broke, honey? And you're, it's right. It's, the right, it's true. <laughs> um, but when they do put out some in, uh, new stuff, it is interesting to see. They are more expensive. Like this, the Baby Got Brow, the new one, is $4.99. So obviously they're upping the price. This was only $1.99. But it also is a pencil, so... Um, there's, there's a big difference there, but hopefully they're kind of just upping everything up in their quality. I don't mind if they up their prices a couple bucks, but, um, yeah, I don't know what I was going, where I was going with that, like clearly this whole video, but <laughs> it's a really nice brow pencil and I love, I like the way that they are, the essence is right now. I don't want them to kind of, I don't want them to kind of jump, fall into the, to the, uh, what is, I want to say scheme, but I guess it's not a scheme for them. They're scamming us. So I don't want them to fall into, you know, releasing every day so that we're buying something every day and we're like, oh, what's new? What's new? You know, I, I hope they don't fall into that because they're doing very, very well. You know, if that makes sense to anyone. All right. So let's go with some eyeshadow. So I have the Essence. It's the Ola Rio eyeshadow palette. It was on sale for a while for like five bucks or something like that. It is back up to $9.99. Um, you do get nine different shades, I believe, two, four, six, eight, nine, because <laughs> the layout is kind of weird, which, weird choice, but it's cute. And out of all the palettes, this one spoke to me the most a while back. I declutter it, I take it back, I declutter it, I take it back, because it looks so yummy, and the shimmers, oh my gosh, so delicious. But I obviously have this color scheme over and over again, but I just love it so much that it always finds its way back to me, you know? They have so many different, one, two, three, four, five, six, six. They have six like this, and then they have a couple other eyeshadow palettes which I've never tried. This one is so good though. The formula is really, really nice, very easy, very blendable, but you don't have to worry about that. And so I really like it because if you're a beginner with makeup, obviously you're probably going towards the cheaper stuff. At least I was. I was buying the cheaper stuff because I couldn't afford the <laughs> uh, anything else. Number one and number two is like, if I hated it, I'd rather only pay $10 for it versus 50. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, that's what I really, really like about this. If you want to just try it, it's really, really nice. Um, and so, yes, I, I don't know where else again I was going with that. <laughs> um, but we're going to go in with some of these shades. Um, obviously, again, clearly there's not very many mattes in here. We have two of the same shade, basically, and then this one here. Um, I think we'll just take a U and just kind of dust that in the crease a little bit. This is a really nice palette too if you're someone who has a lot of like matte single shadows or you like have a lot of matte palettes because you know you don't wear shimmers a lot but you want something for every now and then when you do want to go out and you want to wear some shimmers. This is a really nice one because again it has those beautiful gorgeous shimmers and you're not having a half you don't have to have a palette where half the mattes go bad or like just sit there because you're only using the shimmers occasionally you know what I'm saying. So this is a really really nice one. I'm going to go in with I want to see. We're gonna go in with this shade up here. We're gonna use a topper on top of it. So we're just gonna, I'm gonna show you guys this one and how like just metallic it is. Oh my gosh, it's so good. You're gonna see how like nice and it is so creamy. It is so weird how cheap it is because it is a really, really nice formula for only 10 bucks. Like, look how easy, cute, oh, the whole nine. You just get it all with this palette, literally. There is a bit of fallout, but again, I've said it a million times, that doesn't bother me just because I'd rather it be powdery and blendable than not powdery and not blendable, you know? I'm just putting some of the cream shade in my crease because I don't want it so dark up there. I went a little crazy. All right, now let's go in for the star of the show, honey. We are going in, and this is the Essence Melted Chrome um, eyeshadow. So they have four shades in this. I have the shade Golden Crown. <gasps> I want to pick up more, but I have to stop myself because I don't use um, single shadows that often. But it is so yummy. 
Okay, okay. Ugh, like look at that. Oh my gosh, so delicious. We're gonna, we're gonna have to put it on. You can like barely see the difference, but you can see the difference in, um, you can you can barely see the difference in color, but you can see the difference in like metallic finish. Oh my gosh, this literally is like that, uh, it's called melted chrome. It's like that, not duo chrome, but it's like that, I don't know, it reminds me of something so metallic and so oh, delicious. Like you can see it just takes it to the next level. And again, this is something if you're someone who just, you know, you don't want a whole palette, you're like, what do I need a whole palette for? I use the same shade every day or um, I only want to use it for special occasions. These are so good. They're only $2.49 and they're bomb. Again, they will last you for so long because you only need the smallest amount. But also, if you're not using it every day or if, I mean, if you want to use it every day, girl, go for it. It is so delicious. They're so creamy. You just use your finger. A brush works too, but I think it works best with your finger just because of how creamy it is. And you get to look like a goddess every day. Honey. Yes, honey. All right, now we're just gonna take a little brush. I'm just gonna go with this like white shade up here and put that in the inner corner. You just, you also have to realize when you're purchasing like from cheaper brands, it's a very cardboard kind of plastic packaging. It's super cute and I really, really like it. It's super sleek and I enjoy that. But again, you're not, it's not weighted. It's not anything luxe or anything like that. It is plat, it's cardboard. It's cheapy, but it's only 10 bucks and who cares? Cause I know. All right, next we're gonna go in with the Essence Extreme Lasting Waterproof Eye Pencil. I have the shade Silky Nude. I love these wa wa eyeliner pencils. They do something so right with eyeliners. I have the um, Long Lasting Eye Pencil in the shade Black Fever. I used the entire thing up because it was so good. I was using it for other reasons, but <laughs> but um, I love this, water this pencil in the waterline. It does not move. It feels so good on the end of waterline. I do have to mention though, let me put a like a little um, side note on there. A lot of, I don't find a lot of water uh, eyeliners or mascaras that smudge on my eyes. I have not found that. And there are so many that people say smudge and they just don't on mine. So I don't know if I have, if I have special eyes or something, but just remember that when you're thinking about it, because if you're someone who finds that a lot of things, eyeliner smudge on you, a lot of mascara smudge on you, then maybe, I, I don't know, just think about that when you're purchasing this one, because mine, I've never had that problem ever literally ever <laughs> but we're gonna go on with silky nude here it was in my other bag because i was using it but this is the essence um eyeliner pen is this one? Oh, it's a super fine eyeliner pen so they do have um a couple different versions just so you know this one is the super fine <laughs> eyeliner pen yeah, here it is. It's only $2.99, super cheap. Again, they have so many different options. I freaking love this eyeliner pen though because it has that like markery kind of tip you can see and it just makes liner so easy. You just like draw it, I don't know, you draw it on. It's nothing, there's no like rocket science to it. So I'm obsessed and it's so easy and it's so cheap as well. I got a little too confident over on this side, but it doesn't look too bad, I don't think. <laughs> Whatever, either way, um, the long lasting eye pencil, is it, are they the same? The long lasting eye pencils are only 249, which was the black one that I had used up, which again is really, really nice. And then the other one, which is, Extreme lasting eye pencil is $2.99. So again, you're super, super cheap. All right, and so then next we're gonna go on with the infamous Essence Lash Princess False Lash, False Lash Effect Mascara. Um, this is the green packaging. They do have now, I believe, five different packagings. Um, they just came out with the Lash Princess Curl and Volume Mascara, which I've never tried. I've only ever tried this one. They do have like the Volume Mascara, Sculpted Volume Mascara. They have the False, the Waterproof version. So they have of uh, this one. So they do have quite a few of the Lash Princess. They have so many other different kinds as well. 
Um, one that I know off the top of my head is stay away from the Essence What the Fake mascara. It's terrible, awful. I didn't like that one at all. But I haven't tried too many. I stick to like what I like and I love this one. So again, 10 out of 10 would recommend. I would try any Essence mascara. They're all pretty good um, that I've heard. So if you're someone who like maybe, I don't know. I don't know, you've tried this over and over again. Try something else. You might, you might, you might, you might like it. Just stay away from the what the fake. Ugh, this mascara gets all the fame and all the glory for an amazing reason. My lashes are so bomb and I'm obsessed. They just look so delicious, literally like a false lash. And I can't believe a mascara can actually do that for five dollars. All right, another favorite product that I've talked about so much. The Essence Stay 8 Hour Lip Liner, so you guys know I love it. The shade Because Da is my holy grail. I also have the shade So Default. We're going to go with Because Da because, again, she's my baby. You can see it's just like the prettiest nude on me. So if you're someone with like tan skin tone, like mine, more medium tan skin tone, it would be so nice. Like It's a little bit deeper than a nude, but you know what I mean. It's like a very natural kind of shade and i freaking love it only 2.99 they do have eight different shades which is amazing um for essence here <laughs> and then we are going to go in with the essence shine 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 wet look lip gloss i have the shade um oh my gosh did it rub off sweetie it rubbed off it's just the clear one is it called behind the scenes i guess it's called behind the scenes I don't know, but they're only $3.29. Um, they have a ton of different shades of this gloss. You guys know everyone and their mom loves it. And um, it's for a good reason. It's nice and thick and so freaking glossy. Oh my gosh. I don't want to get color on it, but. And it smells delightful. Oh my gosh, I love the smell. You can just see how glossy that made my lips look. So delightful. So yummy. Girl, what is it, fall? Is it fall? No, <laughs> get it together. Um, it's okay, that's just, I was working with what I had here. Sorry, yes, that is it for this video, guys. Um, let me know, do you have any Essence favorites that I didn't talk about, didn't try, or like I hated on? Um, don't be offended, I swear. <laughs> um, they, you know, they're so cheap, and what's so great about them is that they have so many products that work for so many different kinds of people. Um, if you're someone who, you know, you, really like mattifying powders again like that mattifying powder some andrea Matsono loves it and i hate it <laughs> so it's just like personal preference is who you are you know just try it it's only a couple bucks which is so nice so you all can try it and um yes and i have my favorites my favorites definitely the essence lip liners you guys know i love this hydrating primer so far so bomb of course the mascara is amazing the essence I, all of these are favorites the bronzer i live for the Melted Chrome is super, super nice. The blush, amazing. The lip gloss, of course, 10 out of 10. I really do like the Pretty Natural Foundation. Is it my go-to number one? No, but I do really, really like it. And then I really like the um, Hello Watermelon, Hello Good Stuff Watermelon Face Mist as well. So well. So those are kind of my top kahunas. The rest of them are not bad but they're not as good you know the quote for today is a very cliche one and i've definitely said it before but it's be strong because things will go better it may be stormy now but it will never rain forever that is it for this video guys i really hope you enjoyed this full face of essence again let me know what you want me to see, you want to see me do next i believe everyone voted for tower 28 so that one should be coming soon <laughs> and yes i will see you in the next one bye guys